What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm here today to give you guys a review of the Maybe Tomorrow collaboration with Saucony on the Shadow 6000 in this hair colorway. Today's video was sponsored by Hefalux. When it comes to sneakers, comfort is king. So when you buy a pair of shoes and find out they're uncomfortable, one of the easiest fixes is to swap the insoles. So that's where Hefalux comes into play. If you check out their website, which I've linked down below in the description box, you'll see they sell a variety of ETP windsoles, which really is the same material you'll find inside Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout to get 15% off your entire purchase, and be sure to tell them I sent you. So this right here is a collaboration between LA-based streetwear brand Maybe Tomorrow with Saucony. This collection is called Better Together, and it's inspired by the classic fable of the tortoise and the hare. So this Shadow 6000 is inspired by the hare character, whereas the 3D Grid Hurricane is inspired by the tortoise. So this pair retailed for a price of 150 US dollars or $200 here in Canada, and they recently landed here in Canadian shops, even though the collection debuted late last year. So right when the initial images of this collection were leaked, I personally found it to be very, very intriguing, and I want to see how they were in person. So one of the first things I liked once I got them in hand was the box. So this does come in a special edition box just for this collection. So you can see it features custom graphics of the tortoise and the hare, along with Saucony and Maybe Tomorrow co-branding on all sides. As for the shoe itself, so diving into the details of this pair, on the toe box you can see this is constructed out of a very soft white colored leather. You can see those natural leather grains on this toe box, and the leather on the toe box is completely perforated. Right above this, right before the laces, we have a head of grey coloured nubuck, and then surrounding the front toe cap, we have a long haired suede which is also done in a dark grey finish. Underneath this, on the side of the toe box, we have a layer of grey coloured nubuck, and more grey nubuck covers the eye stays of the shoe as well. The top two eyelets are covered in this TPU finish, but this is actually glow in the dark and it glows green, which I thought was a nice surprising add on. Underneath this, on the mid panel, we have more of that perforated white leather, and we have that Saucony stripe overlaid on top, which is done in this synthetic rabbit hairy style, which is a nod to the character that this pair is inspired by, the hair. Moving downwards, we have more layers of nubuck, and then surrounding the bottom of the heel, we have two overlays of long-haired shaggy suede, but it's cut out in the middle, revealing this reflective 3M layer, and we have the words maybe and tomorrow embroidered on the left foot and right foot respectively, and this embroidery is actually glow-in-the-dark as well. And then the top of the heel is covered in more of that synthetic fur. As for the laces, so these come with three different lace options. The standard default lace are these fuzzy laces, which again are inspired by a rabbit, but they also give you regular flat laces in both white and grey. Personally, I like the fuzzy laces, it gives the shoe a bit more character, and since the shoe is inspired by a hare or a rabbit, might as well embrace it 100%. Underneath this, so we have a mesh tongue, but we have this rectangular tag on the top, featuring Maybe Tomorrow Shadow 6000 branding, along with a graphic of a hair. And another fun fact, the Maybe Tomorrow branding and Shadow 6000 branding glows in the dark also. So the back of the tongue and the interior of the shoe is lined in the chenille or a terry cloth fabric in the salmon or peach color. And then taking out the insoles, so these come with your standard foam line insole, but they feature custom graphics on the top once again, and we have Maybe Tomorrow and Saucony co-branding on the heel. So the upper of the Shadow 6000 sits atop this EVA foam midsole, which is completely painted in white. We have Saucony branding on the lateral side of the heel, and then turning this pair over to the bottom, so the outsole here is done in this glow-in-the-dark rubber. So this outsole actually glows a vivid red, which I thought was really, really dope. We still have that same triangular-shaped traction pattern on the forefoot, and Saucony branding right in the middle. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those wondering about sizing, to me these fit like most of my other Shadow 6000s. So I personally went up a half size to a size 10 and a half. So my feet measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. And for the Shadow 6000, I wear between a 10 or a 10 and a half, depending on the specific release. So for this pair, I got these in a 10 and a half and they fit me great. There's about a finger's width between the edge of the shoe and the top of my toe, which I think is perfect. And the width of the shoe gave me no problems whatsoever. So whatever size you normally wear for the Shadow 6000, I'd probably stick with that same size for this pair. And if you've never worn a pair before, I feel like going up a half size will fit you better. Moving on to the comfort, so this shoe is decently comfortable for just an everyday casual use shoe. It's not going to be amazing, it's not like one of my most favorite shoes from a comfort standpoint, but it definitely does its job. We have this thick EVA midsole along with a padded insole. So again, just for walking around in these casually, they're going to feel decent. 
finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship. So first off, material quality was really, really solid. Just like a lot of Saucony original releases, for the price you pay especially, the materials that you get are usually top notch. So this pair I thought was no exception. The suede and the nubucks and the leathers too, they all felt like they were very nice quality to the touch. And I feel like it's a significant upgrade compared to the standard quality we get for general releases from a lot of other major brands. And from a build and craftsmanship standpoint, it wasn't perfect. Some of the panels on this shoe were a bit inconsistently cut and placed. So what I mean by that is the left foot and the right foot, it seemed a little bit crooked and inconsistent. But other than that, the stitch job was very solid. There were no visible glue stains anywhere on this shoe. So again, it wasn't perfect, but it wasn't bad. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet, I'll lace them up and I'll show you guys how these look. The tortoise in the hair is a classic, classic story that we've heard since we were kids. And I think maybe tomorrow and Saucony did a great job representing both those characters on these shoes. Personally, I'm a bigger fan of the Shadow 6000 silhouette. So I think this pair is definitely my favorite of the two, but I love the creativity of the 3D Grid Hurricane. I just think it's probably not as wearable when you compare it to this one. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this hair colorway in the Shadow 6000. What are your overall thoughts on this collection in general? And for anyone watching, did you also pick these up? Did you pass on these or take an L? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at sgo8, follow my Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.